do have my handkerchief. I'm so Thank sorry you. for you. Thank you. I just, I can't believe this has happened. I know, it was a great grief to me, too. Are you Mrs. Wilkins? Yes, sir, I am. Are, are you Detective McKinley? Yes, I am. Um, what seems to be the trouble? I just got a phone call that my husband has been murdered. Well, that is terrible news. Do you know anything about the murder? His... No. Okay, okay. No. Do you know anyone who knows anything about him? No, it was just, um, I'm not even sure if I knew who it was that called, but they said, we're so sorry to inform you that your husband has been murdered, and it's very fast, and it felt like just a big blur. I can't remember many of the details, sir. Where does your husband work, or where did? He worked, um, at a bank. <laughs> okay, I will... Take it up with the authorities. We will find the murderer and make sure he gets repaid for what he's done. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, um, my name is Detective Bakudis. I'm sorry, those are my cards. I'll put them up. It's all right. Um, I just, I heard that your husband died and I would like to help. Thank you so much, sir. Is there any information that I could give you that would help you on your way? Um, I have a couple questions for you. Do you know anything about the murderer? Maybe the murderer's name? I'm sorry, I don't. Nothing with the murderer. Oh man, this is getting harder than I thought. Um, do you know anything about maybe your husband? I don't know. Do you... Excuse me? If I know anything at all about my husband? Well, I'm, I'm sorry ma'am, but I just, I thought you might be a little confused after this traumatic time. I didn't know. Um, can I still help you? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, you're right. I'm, I am. I have been a bit confused. What What do you need to know about? Do you have the murderer's number? No, I do not have the murderer's number. Are you sure? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? Wait. Not that you mentioned it. I got a strange phone call the other night. Indeed, you did. Yes. He didn't give his name. I just thought it was a prank call. Yes. And what in the call did he say which might oh, he... make you think he's the murderer? He said something about, I'm going to spray your the walls of your house. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It was something Maybe rather... Maybe spray them with blood. The blood of your husband. I'm just Sir. saying because your husband is dead and I'm not sure if you've been anywhere else than this room. Have you looked at the walls of your house lately? Is there blood on any of them, perchance? No. Well, Would you like some popcorn? <laughs> sure, I, I suppose so. I think there might be a kernel left in there. <laughs> Anyway, I ought to be going. Thank you for the information you have provided. Well, uh, Voila. Thank, thank you, sir. I, I hope that um, your ex- No, no, no time for any compliments about my beautiful complexion. Oh, it's so good to get outside. Yes, <laughs> I believe it's- Nice to clear our brains. Yes. Oh, I'm dear. sorry, oh, madam. Oh, that, oh. That. you all right? Yes, I'm sorry, sorry sir. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, I'm a bit jumpy. Um, what happened to your purse? I'm sorry, what? Your purse. Sir! Must have 
big pocket of hair. Ah, I'm so absent-minded, I should have noticed. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Yes. It was the same coat. Yes, exactly. I know. That was I that was what I was thinking. But and he, he had a, a very funny voice. He walked strangely but like he, he was, did. He was wearing black pants instead of tan. But he, he changed. changed. You know it was a different day. I'm sure it was him. I know it. I knew I didn't like the sight of that man when he came into my house. I should talk this over with the police. Come in. No, oh, Detective Curtis. Mrs. Wilkins, how do you do? Not very well, but I'll okay, that's you. good. That's good. <laughs> All right, I would like to present to you a case which I have worked on many pages long for many days. Many tiring nights in which I only drank five cups Wait. of coffee an hour. Look. Did you say shave your mustache? Uh, um, yes, I shaved my mustache and my face is now so much more beautiful. Um, now I would like to show you something interesting, or tell you rather, because I don't have any pictures yet. Mind that no. I said yet. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure the murderer is 24. Yeah, wears a hat that's like this, but it's kind of stupid. Um, he wears a black suit, white shirt with no tie. Oxfords, or wingtips as you want, you might want to call them. I don't know, people have really weird names for these shoes. I have shoes like them too, they're pretty awesome. But his are stupid. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure your husband also died. Think. Yes, absolutely he did. I was what just, kind of a detective uh, are you? I'm a very good one. Um, All right, I have one question. Detective yes, you have, a, you have a question. Could you please show me your wallet? Or maybe any other wallets you may have picked up on the way. Let's see. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Here's my wallet. It says Mr. Pacutis, the detective. And I have money and receipts. Who is that? What? Did you see that man that I saw at the door? I don't know who it was, but who's looking in? Oh, man. This is not good. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wilkinson. I just have to run. No witnesses! Wait!
Uh. Sir, you were getting far too close to revealing the identity of someone you should not identify. Now, if I were you, I would keep my nose and business. Yeah, we got down the hill. Hello, Miss Wilkinson. Um, today, Detective Nicolay, it's good to see you. Yes, I have gathered some evidence on our criminal. So, I'm pretty sure that he went in a trench coat, winged it at 10 pounds, and a hat that looks like this, except it's a little bit firmer and a little bit different. Um, who did the man, what did the man look like? Who was the big part? Well, he was rather stupid looking, he had a very funny voice. And, um, well, he was very rude, first of all, for stealing from me. I do not have a very good opinion of him. Alright, so, what kind of black coat did he have? Well, he wore a trench coat, like you said. What color? Yeah. Yes, I'm pretty sure I think you're the same person as you. Kudis isn't actually Detective Kudis. I'm pretty sure he's a murderer. Since your husband worked at a bank, he would have killed him so he could get money from a bank. Then go away with it. Then take your money too. Indeed. Mr. Roller. We need to find him as soon as possible. Absolutely. Thank you, Detective. Thank you. You're a life saver. It is so awesome. I love my wallet. Oh, look. Never mind. Should I look at people's necklaces? Oh, sorry. sorry. Wait a second. I love my... I don't have a wallet. Where did my... Hey, stop it. took my debit card out of there because I wanted to shred it. You can't get my yes, money. Yes, but you have cash. Oh, that's right. I have cash. Wait a second. You know, you look a lot like one guy that I... murder a guy after prank calling a woman? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Do you want to die? No. I will shoot you. Here, the gun is loaded no. and cocked. No. Okay, well. Please I guess I'll just have to turn you in. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. I'll just have to bring you along. I'm not standing up. Oh, man. You know that that's not loaded. What? I loaded it before. Yeah, well, I unloaded it with magical powers okay, that I was given go. from heaven above. Thank you for the magical powers which has been bestowed upon me. 
Let's get inside and expose this. Hey, what are you doing? I actually will shoot you. I loaded it. No, you didn't. Well, you can shoot me because I am so awesome at martial arts. <laughs> Let's get back inside right now. No, no, no guns. No guns allowed. Don't kiss me. That's really wrong. I'm not <laughs> that kind of person. Uh, this is really hard. You know. I, I'm going to turn you. No, you can't. Did I did not. You admitted to killing that woman's husband. I did. Yes, you did, and I Dang it. killed you. Yes. Oh, hello, ladies. Good evening. I'm hello. just about to turn this thing into your master. I just knocked him out with my magical powers again. I also, I like your glasses. Let me get those. Oh, wow. I look absolutely charming in these. Let's get you inside. Oh, nice hat. Let's get this in my pocket. All right, let's get you inside. Why are you barefoot? You are so weird. Oh. All right. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Come in. Hello, Mrs. Wilkinson. Oh, oh, I got you a tasty morsel of a crime scene that has been solved. Oh, that's kind oh. of a weird. <gasps> I hope this really doesn't hurt this guy, but like I knocked him out a few times and. So, is he still, alive? Yes, he's unconscious. Wake up, you idiot. Wake up. <laughs> okay. I think he's awake. Stand up, you idiot, McKinley. Detective McKinley? Yes. He's the liar. He's oh, the really? Man. I'm the liar because I totally did not. He turned me in. I caught him on the sidewalk. Yes, yes. No, this is what happened. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down here. I need okay. to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you. Okay? Crouch down. Let's huddle like buddies. Come on. Okay. What is Get going up. on? He's ready to confess. I don't understand. He's ready to confess. Did you kill the guy? What guy? Asking yourself. Because he will probably answer better. No, stay here. Detective McKinley, did you kill my husband? No. Did you kill my husband? No, uh... Yeah. What is that that I see? It might be a purse that maybe belonged to you. Thank you. And I did not put that in his jacket. He totally had that there the whole time. Ah! You three, you better not tell anyone about this. You do. You, <laughs> you know you're really stupid. You see my hat? Do you see we'll my be hat? sprayed with your Wait. blood. Oh, but look at this. Yeah, and look what I have under my hat. The magazine to the gun, you idiot. Now, you know what? I have a real gun, and it is cocked. And you realize I took all the ammunition out of that magazine. Anyway, you better not... I'm, I'm kidding. Don't worry. I'm, I'm a big jokester. It's, it's pretty funny. Pretty funny indeed. Wait, wait. Anyway, he killed your husband and he's going to jail for it. And I'm just gonna kick him. Wake up, you stupid idiot. I think he's having some emotional trauma. Oh my god. I don't Come wanna on. die. I'm gonna kill you if you say that one more time. I wanna die. I'm gonna kill you if you say that one more time. 
you didn't say it, so it's a good thing because otherwise you did. You would be dead. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Stop making this hurt me and you. Let's go. I'm gonna knock you out now. Knock out. Dude, you are like way too hard to knock out. There we go. I don't need that gun anymore. It can be a keepsake. It's pretty special. It you don't want it? Yes, you do. It deep in your heart, you know you want the gun. Anyway, I ought to be off to the police station. Well, let's not do that, buddy. Let's go out of here and leave the woman in peace to to cry. I don't know why she's cry. It's such a rude. Goodbye, Mrs. McKinley. I mean, whoa. No, you're not Mrs. McKinley. Wilkins. Huh. Hey, what, why are you pulling my belt? That is really weird. Goodbye, anyway. Have a nice day. You're welcome for the help, since you're not gonna thank me. And my face is still beautiful. Run! 